In the meantime, hundreds of investigations are underway related to the riots at the Capitol. Yeah, the Department of Justice says they've opened nearly 100 criminal cases. One suspect under investigation, Jacob Chansley from Arizona, also known as Jake Angeli, the QAnon shaman. He appeared by video in a federal court this afternoon. This photo shows him on the Senate dais uh, during the riots. Prosecutors say it's in these moments that he wrote and left a threatening message for the vice president. ABC 15 investigator Melissa Blasey is staying on top of this case for us. She was in the federal courtroom as a judge ruled Chancellor will stay in jail. The judge said Jacob Chansley was a symbol of what had occurred at the U.S. Capitol, which she described as a violent insurrection. The judge also said that Chansley had no belief what he did was wrong, not in a mentally ill way, but in a righteous way. A stark difference from his appearance at the U.S. Capitol covered in coyote pelt horns and tattoos. Jacob Chansley, bald with a shorter beard, wearing an orange jumpsuit as he appeared by video conference from his holding cell. Prosecutors offered new evidence, saying Chansley inside the Capitol yelled into his bullhorn, telling other raiders to take out several congressmen. And at the Senate chamber dais, he allegedly scrawled a note to Vice President Pence saying, it's only a matter of time, justice is coming. The prosecutor colored just about everything to make Jake look violent. He wrote something like, justice is coming. And you know, if you're a Christian, you know that justice is coming, right? The Bible says so. Several of Chansley's supporters were at the federal courthouse in Phoenix today. Jake is a good guy. He's an American citizen. Oh, goddamn bro. Okay, please. No, he's an American citizen. He's a, he's a patriotic guy. Okay, he. I've never seen Jake ever do anything bad. He's been like a teacher, a role model. Jacob Chansley faces a six count federal indictment with two felonies and four misdemeanors. If convicted, he could be sentenced to 25 years in prison. Because of that potential long prison term, the nature of the crime disrupting government and ignoring police, and the fact Chansley had planned to attend Joe Biden's inauguration next week, Judge Deborah Fine determined the 33 year old was too much of a danger to the community and a flight risk. She ordered him held in federal custody and transferred to Washington, D.C. to stand trial. Chansley's mom quickly left the courthouse after the ruling. Are you surprised by the judge's decision? No, no. Have you been able to talk to Jacob? What has he told you? Serious and stoic through most of the hearing, Jacob Chansley did ask to speak after the judge's ruling, but she shut him down, saying she wanted to preserve his Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination. At the very end, he uttered, oh my God. I'm investigator Melissa Blasius, ABC 15, Arizona.